In science fiction, they are often cast as the enemy. Here, a team's fate lies in their balance. A competition teaming bright young minds with cutting-edge technology. Robots are built to withstand virtually anything. Humans are not. In this arena, Minor malfunctions can lead to major heartbreaks. Oh my god, our battery's so down. Months of work. Stop that, dead. This is not science fiction. This is not man versus machine. This is first. Every year, thousands of young minds compete at the first championship the largest and most prestigious competition of its kind. First, or for inspiration and recognition of science and technology, was founded by inventor Dean Kamen to inspire young people's interest and participation in science and technology. The problem is that so many kids grow up in an environment where by the time they're 10 or 12 years old, they think their options in the world are being in the NBA or being in Hollywood. That's their perspective of the world. It seemed to me that what we needed to do to get first going was to break the stereotypical mindset given to kids about what's important in our culture. First, challenges young people to think, create, and inspire. Working with professional engineers and other mentors, students design, build, and program robots for competition. It's transforming the way they think about science and engineering. Let these kids that had never met a scientist or a professional engineer see what these people do. Put those people and ideas in front of these kids, you'll change where they put their time and attention, and you'll change the outcome. You'll change what they'll be when they're 17. A few of these CEOs said, Dean, what are you going to do that'll make kids more passionate about science or engineering? I said, let's steal from the playbook of sports. Let's create a sporting event. In 1992, 28 teams competed in a small New Hampshire gymnasium. Off the field. To them. Today, the championship is known as the Super Bowl of Smarts. A culmination of the first robotics competition for high school students, the first Lego League for middle school students, and the first tech challenge. It's the labor. We put into it a few things that I think sports could learn from. Gracious professionalism, they work together. You help your opponent. You want to win, but you want to win a close match. We have a culture here that causes people to work together. More than 2,500 sponsors support FIRST, and over $9.5 million in scholarship opportunities are available. Over 70,000 volunteers donate time and talent. First advisor and MIT professor of mechanical engineering, Woody Flowers, knows FIRST is all about conquering a challenge. I think it turns out that humans like a really tough challenge. And I think FIRST has proven unambiguously that if you create an environment in which the right stuff is celebrated, people will do that. So these people get to work really hard compete like crazy, but treat each other well in the process. It's a good thing. Larry Page, co-founder of Google, recognizes the power of FIRST as much as anyone. My dad actually smuggled me into a robotics conference when I was 12. He thought it was really important that 
you know, I would learn about robotics and technology and get to experience that. And I think FIRST has done that, you know, on a tremendous scale. Kids getting first-hand experience with technology, with practicing engineers. And um, from my perspective, that's how you accomplish amazing things. 10 or 15 or 20 years from today, some kid in those stands will have cured Alzheimer's or AIDS or cancer or built an engine that doesn't pollute. Somebody sitting out there is going to win a Nobel Prize and they're going to be asked, what made you go down this road? The probability that one of them is going to do something spectacular that they would not have done without first is almost a guarantee. Look at these kids. They're, they're the future. We're part of it by helping them figure out what to do with their lives. This has been a presentation of Turner Studios.